What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at this TSM Models Miho Exclusive Mini GT McLaren Senna. And we're going to compare it to its Hot Wheels equivalent and just find out if this model is really worth it. So let's get right into it. So here we have our Mini GT from TSM Models Miho Exclusives McLaren Senna. It is 164. You can see here that it's a limited one of 4,800. And these are distributed by MJ Toys. You can see that the, mo the model is heavily detailed. The lines are nice and crisp. There's a decently detailed interior. The front does contain the headlights. Unfortunately, there are no lights in the back. However, the exhaust is painted in. It should be noted that I had to glue the spoiler back on as it was popped off when I got it, though I don't think that's a factory error. I think that was a issue in shipping as I got it off of Amazon. Now, I found this model on Amazon and it cost me $10.00. Uh, the detail is very good, though. Uh, it has its rearview mirrors. The rearview mirrors, if I can get this to focus, are painted silver. It does have rubber tires. And the base, as well as the body, are both metal. So there is no plastic when it comes to the bodywork of this car. So let's stack it up next to its Hot Wheels equivalent and take a look at them. Now here we have it lined up next to its Hot Wheels equivalent, Hot Wheels being on the right. And right off the bat, you can see that the Hot Wheels one has less detail in the front. Uh, the McLaren logo seems to be more accurate sized on the, the Miho exclusive. When we move on to the sides of the cars, there isn't much different. Uh, this is where you can really see that the lines on the Miho exclusive are a lot crisper. If we go in and zoom as far in as we can, you can see that they even have the lugs on the wheels, whereas Hot Wheels are the standard wheels and axles. Though I have to admit that the Hot Wheels manage to match up the, the rims very nicely. Moving around to the rear of the car, the, the rear of the car on both of these is very similar. Hot Wheels took the time to color in some red lights, though their spoiler is thicker as it is part of the metal frame or metal body. And the spoiler on the TSM model is a separate piece. And they took the time to silver in the exhaust Whereas Hot Wheels, there's really nothing there. From the other side, there's really no difference from the previous side. However, you can see that the Hot Wheels one does take a lower profile. The tops of both of these cars are very similar, though the details on the TSM one are a little more pronounced, and the vents in the back seem a little more realistic on the TSM one. That's not taking anything away from Hot Wheels, however. I think Hot Wheels did an excellent job pushing out a McLaren Senna for a dollar. So I'm going to give these two cars ratings in four categories. The ratings will be out of a total score of five, and then they will be given an overall score to compare the two. Real quick, I also forgot to mention that the TSM one rolls just fine but it is slowed by the fact that it has rubber tires. The TSM car also comes with a box to store it in, you know, similar to old Matchbox boxes. So here are my ratings for the two cars. On the Hot Wheels side, I give it a quality of four or five. 
It's the quality of a Hot Wheels, and they have good quality control. Detail, I give it two of five. Again, it's a Hot Wheels car, so it's going to be lacking some detail. Rollability, of course, gets five of five. They're known for their ability to roll. And the value, I give another five of five. The car only costs a dollar. In some cases, it could be even less than a dollar. Most cars that will cost a dollar will get a five of five on value from me. So overall, I give the Hot Wheels a four out of five. Now the GT Mini model. I've given this model a quality of four out of five. They have decent quality control, though there was an issue, but I think that resulted from shipping. Detail wise, it gets five out of five. The car looks fantastic, the lines are crisp, and I just think it's overall very well detailed. Rollability only gets a three out of five. The rubber tires do tend to slow it down, but beyond that, it is a good roller. And the value also gets a three out of five. I think for the $10 I paid for it, it could at least have an opening hood or something. So overall, it gets a 3.75 out of five. So that's our look at the McLaren Senna from TSM Models, a Miho exclusive, part of their GT Mini line. Uh, yes, overall it did score lower than the Hot Wheels, but that does not mean it's not as good as the Hot Wheels model. That just simply means that there are some categories that the Hot Wheels model is actually better in. Do I think this is a good model for the money? Uh, I would have preferred something that opens on it, maybe the doors or the engine compartment. But if you're a collector, $10 is not that bad for a 164th scale, highly detailed McLaren Senna. Anyway, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to stay up to date with notifications. Remember to always play with your kids, and I'll see you next time.